character that I have modeled in the blender and I am now going to rig this with the help of auto rig pro that is a pro tool actually very straightforward to use and the rigging becomes really easy for the animation now this character is rigged so I am very like comfortable at animating this I will exit the camera let me show you I will just grab any any handle but before that I need to be in the pose mode I will select the rig then go to the pose mode let me grab this arm and G you see I am able to move the hands and no other limb is getting affected that's a very good thing if your other limbs are now I will move this arm like this can move now I will do one thing if you want I can make the kind of simple animation where it is tapping its feet this character is tapping the feet let's just record now grab this then maybe three frames head it comes down also you see the proportions are being maintained it's not like in like stretching unnecessarily grab again what I'm trying to show you like the animation becomes really easy once you are able to rig a character rigging is really tough and complicated part of the animation some people just avoid it completely because they do not understand the tools the most common tool used is uh, Rigi, Rigify that's uh, available as a as an add-on free add-on on the blenders add-on thing when you go to the edit then preferences but this thing is not free it is a paid tool but being paid it has some great advantages now I will try to play this animation I will also disable the gizmos by pressing shift option Z or you can just click on this button over here then shift back arrow so that I am in the first frame then I will play, play the video you see it's doing some kind of animation and now it's up to you what kind of animations you want to make it really gives you the freedom do not look at the character how it's looking like also if you see this character has the T pose like these arms are like looking like a T it's really easy to make a T pose and when you rig the character you can actually take it off for like the arms bending and shoulder like fold and all those things but if you are doing that thing in the modeling it will really add extra mesh and make things complicated for you so I will suggest you not to do that so what I will do I will go to front view here I am then let me enable the gizmos also I will get rid of the rig let me see if the, it is recording yes I need to get rid of the rig now it is not a rigged character it is if I try to move it let me go to the pose mode there is nothing like that so what we have to do now is we have to rig this character again so once you have made a character like this character this whole character is unibody unibody means it's just one part like the whole thing the arms head and all those things are command J I did so that it becomes one it, it, it really make things easy for me to rig also once you have done the character make sure its height let me press N and then go to this item over here its height is 1.84 meter that's a real world proportional it can be less or more but it cannot be 5 meters 10 meters that will not be good once you have given the height then go to object apply all transforms it's really important to apply that now if this character is not standing at the intersection of this thing or this floor then grab it on the z-axis and put it over here so it's really at the center of the world okay now once you have done the character the character is ready for the rigging so then go to ARP if you have installed this tool then click on this then what you have to do is go to rig and look for this get selected objects it is down here it is not at above if you are getting complicated like getting confused do I have to rig add rigs over here they are advanced options so you do not have to click on them just click on this get selected objects now it will ask you do you want the face only or the whole body we want the whole body so click on ok now this is giving you the option of adding the anchor parts at different parts of the body they are not many they are like few first you need to add the neck it is also giving you the option of adding the mirror if your character has proportional body parts then you can keep the mirror on 
if it doesn't have proportional parts like one shoulder is here then there are some like strange looking characters then you can disable the mirror and so i now i need to add the chin it's much closer to the neck then the next is shoulders i can keep them over here do not add at the extreme edges keep uh, this is fine wrist they are at the beginning of the palms since my character does not have the fingers so i will also have the option of not adding the fingers these are the ankles which are above the feet also if you are like unable to move them to the right place to the place you want to move then you can just press g and move as you want it's uh, giving you all the freedom now this is done here are the fingers i do not have the fingers so i can disable this you can add as many fingers i do not have any finger so i'll make it zero just disable this and keep these options as they are then click on go now it will add an armature kind of bones wait for that yes the bones are added and you can do the adjustments if you want i think they are fine for me just go to the object mode good enough then match to rig it is asking you burning burning armature scale will be set to one that's what i told you when you add the character to the apply all transforms so no problem we are okay it will add the scale as i want it and that's working fine for me you can see the arms are taken care of legs stomach head and all those things now what do you have to do if you try to move the things now you are in the pose mode when you want to do the modifications to the animation you have to be in the pose mode let's try to move it g you see only the armature is moving there is no effect to the body why because we need to do one thing that is go to the object mode then select the character armature let me see if it is the option then go to skin and then click on bind now they both are joined now you are ready for the animation select this rig go to pose mode over here like this then you can be in any angle any any type thing then grab you see you are able to move the arms as you want now this is how you rig the character and animate them this is really giving me the freedom and do the rotation over here if your hand is not moving as you want so what is stopping you from uh, like using this tool this tool is really nicely made and it has great support also the rigify is nice free but it is a bit complicated you have to get used to that tool to use that now you can like enable the auto framing and if i am like playing with this hand suppose then go to third frame grab it go to further I can do one thing I can duplicate them duplicate them now in the first frame okay I will disable the gizmos by play, clicking on this button or shift option Z now okay I need to play the animation you see you can do all sort of animations with the feet with the head moving sitting walking flying all those kind of animations are possible now because of this auto auto rig tool so this is how you use this tool if you have still some confusions then rewatch the video and you can ask the, uh, the things also thank you